Hello my friends, it is FPS Russia again and today we're going to play with a uh, very nice tank here. But first things first, let's get something to eat. Before I make a video I like to fuel up, get everybody fed. Last time we went to McDonald's, this time we're going to White Castle. Let me get a uh, number nine and uh, four large cokes. A number nine and what else? Four large cokes. Four? Four. Okay. I have the number nine, 20 white cokes, and four fries, and four large cokes. That's 2673. Sounds good. Every time you go to the restaurant, you find a real connoisseur. She's been eating these things since she was a baby. We used to put them in blender. She drank down five or six at a time. They almost need to make the window bigger. Look at their hands. Like a bear. There you go, thanks. Thank you, have a nice day. You too. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so this is a 1944 M5 tank. This is the Stewart, it's a light tank. The armament aboard this thing, you've got the 37 millimeter main gun over there that fires this. And uh, we've also got some of these canister rounds for today. This is like an enormous shotgun. It's firing uh, a whole lot of 3 8 inch ball bearings at around 2,500 feet per second. So I got the feeling this is going to be devastating. It's also got 330 caliber machine guns on there, some 1919. So it's a very well armed vehicle. I've been playing a game called World of Tanks, so that got me inter interested in uh, tanks. I called them and figured out where they got their tanks to model from, and this is the exact tank they modeled off of for the game, so let's have some fun. Okay, so one thing is for sure, back in the 40s, everyone was much, much shorter. I'm about six foot two, and I barely fit into this thing. It's really cramped. My legs have uh, pretty much fallen asleep, so let me quickly go every over everything in here, and I'm going to get out. So. My optics are here, I've got the close, uh, more uh, detailed optic here and a wide angle view here. My uh, hydraulic controls are here, so I go left, it goes left, right, it goes right. And I've got my uh, big gun trigger here, my 30 cal trigger here, this is the big gun. And then I've got some manual controls back here and up here so I can really dial it in closely if I need to. So we're going to chew this wall up with our 30 cal and then we're going to hit it with the big gun. So let's see what we can do. Okay, so now we're going to hit this thing with a big gun, and I want you guys to notice how you load this thing. Check this out. Loader, go right ahead. That thing popped up with enough force to take his thumb right off. You definitely want to be the shooter and not the loader. Let's take this wall out. There we go, our wall is gone, we're safe inside of our tank, this is definitely the way to ride. Let's try something else. Okay, so now we're going to test out that canister round, keep in mind this is like a uh, shotgun about 30 times more powerful than a 12 gauge. And uh, we got it aimed right at those watermelons on the car, 
Keep in mind, this is a very, very old round. Not sure what it's going to do. Let's find out. That's more like it. We took out a lot of those watermelons, but there's still some survivors. So let's hop on the 30 out there and finish them off. Okay, so the canister round seemed to have left a few survivors. So we're going to take our Browning 1919 and finish those watermelons off. World War II, that is a lot of firepower. Let's hop in there and do one more thing. This car has got to go. Okay, so one more thing with this bad boy. We're going to take the big gun, and we're going to shoot through that engine block and blow that car to shit. So let's get it done. I already said it once, but the power that you've got in this piece of machinery from World War II is absolutely incredible. We just blew the front end of that car right off. I'm very impressed with this tank. We had a lot of fun. I got to look into it. I might have to buy myself a tank. Let's have some more fun. Okay, so we had a lot of fun today with the M5. Got to say, you know, whenever I test out something that's from World War II or in that era, I'm always wondering, you know, how effective would it be? But got to say, this thing was incredible. We absolutely destroyed this car. Had a lot of fun in it today. Like I said, you wouldn't want to be loading this thing. You're going to lose a thumb pretty fast, but next time we've got a much bigger tank. We've got the Hellcat, so stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, have a nice day.